Hi, I'm Ben Rubel, and it's Crazy Hair Week at the Make Ember Center. There are still two days left in Crazy Hair Week, so just pack up your child's lunch, put them in their hair in crazy configurations, and send them off into the sunset with a smile on their face. Or just remind them so that they can do it themselves. Anyhow, let's just go back to the sky for a bit. So, today I want to talk about the constellation Orion, which has a bunch of cool things in it. But first, um, let me tell you how to find it. So, if you go out around like 9 p.m. and look east, you'll see the stars starting to rise over the horizon. And by like 11 at night, it should be nice and high in the south. Um, so, the first star I want to talk about is Betelgeuse, uh, which is right there. That is um, uh, my apron that I drew for cooking class that I've been using. So, yep. Betelgeuse is a huge star. It's um, very, very bright, and it's located like 600 light years away, and it still shines out brightly, so it's really big. Betelgeuse is a variable star, so its brightness changes sometimes. It can be as bright as Rigel, which I'll talk about in a second, or as dim as Aldebaran, which is right there. So the next star, as promised, is Rigel. Rigel is right there, and um, it's actually a triple star. If you look at it with a telescope, you can see a very, very faint, small companion of Rigel that's only a few times as big as our sun. I know, it's funny, talking about stars a few times as big as our sun as being teeny and faint. And that star is actually made up of two components that are very, very close together and can't be resolved by any telescopes. Um, next, there's an asterism, which is a collection of stars like the Big Dipper that isn't a constellation but has a name, um, called Orion's Belt, which you may have heard of. It's right there, those three vertical stars, or, well, they can be horizontal, too. And it's just a really pretty thing to look at. And, yeah, it's nice and easy to find if you ever need to orient yourself on a winter night. So our final thing um, is that thing, the Orion Nebula. It is a giant cloud of hydrogen gas that's forming tons of stars whenever a cloud... Um, a piece of the cloud of gas gets enough mass to start nuclear fusion. Um, and you may have been wondering what that red, those red streaks and circles were. Those are just nebulae that you can't see with your naked eye, but are there and can be seen with very long exposure photographs. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please ask me. Um, and clear skies. Hi, this is just a little bonus. This is the astronomy picture of the day today, and it happened to be over Orion, and it's really amazing. It's 212 hours of exposure time. So yeah, just take it in.